All right, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends free to play Mystery Shard only, only heroes that everyone gets video. That's a lot of things to say in the beginning of a video, but we have to say it every single time just so that people who are new to the channel know. Otherwise, people think we're just building dumb heroes. Now they know what we're doing, which is building dumb heroes. All right, so. Let's go in here. So right now we have six mystery shards, 383 ancients, 73 voids, 25 sacreds, and fusions. We are doing pretty well. We've got 80 fragments on Yakarl. We've got 74 on Akoth. So hopefully if all goes well, we will have him this month. It'll only take us 12 days, basically, for the Doom Tower to reset. And then we'll be ready to rumble there. We do have 35 fragments on Cleo. We won't be getting her for at least another two months, two and a half months, actually. So whatever. And Mithrala, we have 32, which is uh, we got a while. We got a while, especially if it's two, two every week. So that's where we're at now. As far as what we have done now, I actually recorded this video about uh, a couple hours ago and the stream failed. So we already did the things that we were going to do today. So I'm going to kind of touch base on what we did and how we got there so let's it's actually good because it saves you guys about i don't know 30 minutes of me doing fire night so it kind of works out so here we go champions where are we at so most of my heroes at this point we did get everybody to their masteries being done um i think as of all right so as of right now we've got about 37 i want to say level 60s well 36 60s and one that's six star about to be 60. now we did finish we finished Mermidon, so he was done. We're, we're good with him. We have to finish up Aethel, which I actually was able to get her skills maxed, finally. So you can expect a lot of uh, the four-player, the, the four-starting champion content coming out either this week or next week. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do her today. I actually have to finish her mastery. So I, we'll, we'll, we'll probably bang her out for next week, and then we'll start doing the four-starting hero kind of battle off we'll see how that goes but she is now needing to be done with masteries and we finished totem so we don't have to worry about her she's done we did the video for her and now we are doing Irenius. we're going to be building her we do have her to six star we have her at level 45 i just started leveling her i actually had a bunch of stuff here that was level 16 and I think the only thing left now is the shield and then her accessories. We did spend some silver trying to get this to level 50. I mean, to level 16. I'm, like, confused today. Uh, on to, to level 16, which is nice. So this looks good. And then we just got to do the two accessories and finish off her shield. And she'll have all of her stuff maxed. And then we can start moving forward. We did max her skills a while ago for, I think it was a clan versus clan, I believe I did this. So I was like, yeah, let's just get some points. And I threw them on there. But her skills are maxed. We don't have a blessing for her yet. I have enough coins to buy it if it pops up in the shop. So that may happen if I don't pull it anytime soon. We'll get a blessing and then kind of work our way forward with her. Because I think every other hero has a blessing now, right? I think all of my heroes except for a few legendaries. Actually, him. Uh, this guy doesn't have a he doesn't have a blessing. But everyone else except for him and two of my legendaries, because those are obviously a little harder to find, do not have any blessings. So we are going to be working on her. I don't want to get too crazy on her right now. I'd rather save it for the champion spotlight, but she seems pretty cool. She's got some interesting skills where she can increase the, increase the length of debuffs, things like that. She can block buffs. So she's got some interest. She's probably the best out of the four of the fusion heroes that you can get from the main fusion section. So I would say she's probably the best out of the four, but that's just from what I've seen by reading their skill sets. I know that the orc has some has some value, and the other two are just kind of whatever. We'll see how they go. All right, but that's what we did. We will be building her, getting her all maxed out, and seeing where it goes. Now, ooh, close this. We are getting much closer to having an all blue great hall. It's looking nice. Actually, we're going to be getting pretty soon. Actually, we could probably go do that now. Let's see. Let's go look. I want to see if there's any arena fights we can do. Let us see. Oh, good. We actually died, so that's good. So we're going to auto this. I forgot that I did a bunch of arena fights for the other video I just put out today. That was supposed to be out for tomorrow. Well, when you're watching this, it would have been yesterday for tomorrow for today. So I hope that was confusing enough, but just know there was another video. So we did do a bunch of arena in there and got some extra coins. So yeah, we're almost there. We only have three left after this, I think, or four. What is it? Six rows? I don't know how many rows. I think it's six rows, so maybe it'll be four. 
We only need to win two more fights anyway. So oh, that pushed us to the next level, didn't it? Making it harder. Here, let's try this one. Let's see if Visix can handle my team. She usually can, actually. Actually, funny enough, it's it's really just the speed thing. As long as that go first, it's a lot. It's a lot more of a chance that I will win. But that's the whole point of having a go first team. So there you go. All right. So now we can take out Death Knight. God, I love Yannicka. Love, love, love her. There you go. And dead. All right. So yeah, Yannicka's doing good in the arena, I guess. All right, this has a freeze, but if this guy goes, if this guy has a speed boost or is really fast, then he might go first, and then we're screwed. But Tormund does freeze, so we should get some extra attacks in. Here we go. So we're gonna get. So here we go. Freeze. Oh, he didn't freeze. Okay, so much for that. Oh, look, I'm a sheep. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. It's funny. I've I haven't seen anyone turn into a sheep in the entire time playing this game. Until like today, this is now the second time I've seen someone turn into a sheep. So it's definitely interesting. Oh, look at that double reaper. Don't fear the reaper unless it's me. Don't fear him. All right, good. Then <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, this is literally the first time I've seen it. So it's actually very funny to me. I mean, if you haven't seen the sheep thing, well, there you go. Now you've seen it. Winner. All right, we got. We need one more fight here. Who we got? This one could be a loss. We'll see. Anytime I see that stupid bat guy, this guy, I get worried because if you built him correctly, it's like almost like a guaranteed loss when he goes first. All right, kill them. Oh, maybe we'll get rid of Death Knight. Nope, we just missed it. That's sad. I like when you kill him the first hit because now you got to waste that on him when you could be using it on the other guys, but I don't think it's going to matter in this case. So there we go. There we go. We got it. So now we can get another great haul situation built up and get blue. Here we go. We're going to go for accuracy upgrade. Boom. Another one in the book. So here we go. We got four left. So we only need 600, no, 800 more, more medals and we will have an entirely blue bonus section. This is cool. I'm actually very excited for this. It seems dumb, but just having these all blue, is a pretty big accomplishment and takes a very long time and a lot of freaking wins. So yeah, we're there. Um, all right. So progression wise, we are going to be trying to get Akoth in Doom Tower. So that's that's where we're at. I did try going into hard here once. I think I'll do it again just now so you can see. We're gonna do this. I think I'm just gonna bring in a bunch of my legendaries and see if they can do it because honestly. This this fight specifically is ridiculously annoying, and every time I do it, I lose. I don't think I've done this with all my legendaries, so let's see if... Because they do that crap with the counterattacks. So, I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to go poorly, but it looks like this is going better than it usually goes. The good news is they don't really have an insanely high attack power. They're just really freaking annoying, and the fight takes forever because everybody's got a freaking counterattack on them. So we'll see if having a bunch of uh, resurrections and removal of buffs is uh, going to help us here. Luckily, these are all defensive heroes outside of Yannicka. There you go. So it's not going to be uh, as bad. It's the last fight, if I remember correctly. I, I might have tried this team. I'm not even sure. Because I would like to start pushing in hard mode here, but it is kind of a pain in the ass. Like, I almost just don't care about hard in Doom Tower, just because I know we have a lot of work to do when it comes to, like, gear and dungeons. So I'm thinking that the level 25 dungeons might be a more attainable win, which we have been pushing. I mean, I have... We got into Fire Knight 21. We beat it. It took us a long time. We'll actually see the time when I go in there, actually. So you'll, we'll know exactly how long it took on the stream that failed. All right. Provokes are good. Anytime that a jerk that does... That, see? How did he do that? Does he have a remove skill where he takes, it, he takes off any debuffs? Because that's the only way he was able to do that. He was provoked. He shouldn't have been able to hit my team. 
But there you go. Doom Tower is full of really annoying heroes that do annoying crap. That was a lot of hits all at once. Oh, there we go. Now she's... Oh, uh, she's gonna die. She's gonna die. That don't matter. It doesn't freaking matter. Now, if she dies, we don't want two dead. Oh, there we go. There we go. Remove. And you know what the screwed up part is? If you remove their the counterattack, it counts as a counterattack. So you get hit with the counterattacks if you remove them all. Isn't that fun? Doesn't that just make perfect sense? Thank you, Raid. All right. Are you going to revive someone here, bud? There we go. It's the first time I think I've seen Arbiter actually become useful with a revive. All right. So I'm sorry. I'm surprised they didn't kill her. That's weird. All right. Ooh, she is down to the wire. Now, of course, they're going to heal her back up. So that's good. We just got to get these guys out of our face. One, Just get one down so we can heal up Visix again before the next fight. But as you can see, these fights are really, really annoying. Like, and boring as hell to watch, by the way. Like, I sit here like and watch these, and I'm just like, ah. Oh. Because it's literally just a bunch of counterattacks. And the funny thing is, is that if we were to do this... Oop, yeah. Funny thing with this is... I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Okay, I was like, I'm watching, I'm trying to watch and see what they were doing. So, like, these fights are just really, really long. And then the next fight, right after this, would end up being, like, a joke, which is the funny thing. Like, you're, you're gonna be like, alright, cool, the first fight of the entire thing is just insanely hard. And then all of a sudden, you'll have, like, four or five fights that are just a joke. Like, and I don't mean a joke, like... Like, just a little bit less difficult. I mean, like, insanely more difficult. So now this is the fight that messes with us, because now they've got double the counterattack heroes and double the annoyance. So we'll see how this goes. Usually the bombs end up coming out, and then we end up getting our asses kicked. So I have a feeling that's what's going to happen here. See, now she removed all that, but now they get to use their counterattacks that were removed because that makes complete sense. But luckily she's unkillable, so they can kiss my ass. But now she's lost that, so she doesn't get it back if she once she once she dies now. So now she's dead. <laughs> so there you go. And see how much crap you get at look at all those BS attacks right now. We're getting insane amount of BS going on right now. All right. Can I turn this off or no? I cannot, of course. I was about to say, I would want... I don't know if she has a resurrect open or not, but it would be nice. There we go. We got a resurrect. We can't have her die, though. That's the problem. If she dies, I have a feeling it's over because she needs to be able to resurrect. Get some stuns. She got some heals. They're going to, of course, keep hitting her because they're jerks. And they only focus on one hero, counterattack. Do I get a turn anytime soon? Just to heal. That's all I need. There we go. She's dead, of course. And I, it's, it's funny that I can't take it off auto, which is a little stupid. All right, so there we go. We got rid of the two dickheads. So this could be a, fuck, a freaking win. I was trying to say. <laughs> I'm like, this could be a win now. But this is why I don't play Doom Tower hard and why like a lot of people will be asked, like, I, I got a comment about that where they're like, oh, you're going to do Doom Tower hard. I'm like, eh, it's not even interesting to me. Like, do I want to sit here and like, think about it? There's 120 floors and this one dumb fight just took me. Yeah, we're taking this off auto climb. Um, and this one dumb fight just took me six minutes. So, yeah, that's how I feel about it. Next. So let's see. We're not doing auto climb because I want to be able to turn it off. Let's see if this fight's any worse. Now that we beat the really annoying fight. Let's see how quickly this goes. So we did 6 minutes and 16 seconds. We'll do a little Doom Towers on hard. And see if this is uh, something we can handle. So really it just requires us to really build our, our legendaries up a little bit. I, there's a... 
I would say that that fight is just ridiculously annoying. So it's going to be a suck fight for anybody and any team you have, unless you have a lot of really good crowd control heroes. And from what I saw, it looks like crowd control doesn't even matter because they have the advantage over you. So you're just going to need a lot of really defensive heroes that can revive and crowd control. So at least the other guys don't get attacks while the counterattack crap is happening. And if I were to do that fight normally, like if I wasn't going to auto it, I would probably, well, if I wasn't going to auto it, um, I would probably manual that fight just because you, there's a lot of times in there where you're going to hit everybody and they're going to get their counterattacks. And if they have one counterattack left, it's probably not even worth removing it because they're just going to get the counterattack anyway. So you might as well just focus on one hero and kill him. So I would not use a area of effect remove counterattack buff at all. Unless you are, uh, have a hero that could take the hits. So like this fight would be good for having, what's her name? I forgot her name. Uh, Dark Alhane, because she has, there's freezes in here. The other thing is we don't have, we don't have blessings on Arbiter or on, what's her name? Uh, Visix. So there are other things in here that we could do to make this team a lot better. We're also not sporting the best equipment, so there's that. So this this could be a really good team to get us through Dark... I mean, Dark <laughs> dark Knight. To get us through um, Doom Tower hard. Like, I'm not saying that they're going to be the team for everything, but they could be a reasonable team to get us at least through the waves. Because they're... They have all the skills that they need. There's a lot of revive. There's a lot of... They can break through shields with Yannicka. They've got some healing. That's really where this team's going to kind of not... Kind of do so well is on the healing aspect. But we do have a leech with Yannicka. So that will help if she lands that. So we may have to adjust her, her accuracy a bit to make sure she lands that. Oh, look at that. This is this is how one fight can go from zero to sixty in in twelve seconds. Wow! All of a sudden, they're just doing a ton of damage. There you go. Get some provokes in there, and some. There you go. That's what we want. There we go. Oh, another in a row. Three. There you goes in a row. Everything you need in one turn. Kind of like how they killed us in one turn. All right, that's good. Well, it looks like we're doing well here. This fight's at least going a lot quicker than the one before. The one before was really bad. This isn't the first time we've done Doom Tower hard, but it is... The second time. <laughs> now, I, I've jumped in here a couple times and just showed it. But yeah, I'm not like... I haven't been super excited about Doom 2 Hour Hard. I'd like to at least maybe beat one secret room. That'd be nice. I think I got through four floors once. Just because I didn't feel like doing it. And since I already spent a lot of time... Let's do... Uh, this one doesn't look bad. Um, and since I already spent an hour recording a video that no one will ever see except the one person that watched live. Um, I don't think I really want to go back into Fire Knight. Well, I'll show you the team that I used after this. I know I said that before, but like, I'll definitely show you that. But this could be, and maybe I'll just rename this. We'll rename this stream. This will be the Doom Tower hard stream instead of Fire Knight, even though we did beat Fire Knight 21. So unfortunately, none of you will ever see it again. No, you might see it. Oh, they're making minced meat out of this one. Minced meat. I just love this team. This is crazy that it's it's funny to me how much legendaries change the game. Like, especially since I don't get many. Like, I only have five, right? So, like, this is this is it. Like, you're looking at my legendary setup. Um, we will be we'll have what two more pretty soon, almost at the same time. Well, we should be getting. Yakarl, and actually, no, was there another one? No, Yakarl, we're going to get, yeah, we have a month for Yakarl. And we have two and a half months for the other one. So yeah, we'll be getting one more legendary. 
which will be exciting. So our our next legendaries are Yakarl and Cleo, which is interesting. I've never even had Cleo. I've never seen her. I think I've seen her in a, a tag team arena tournament fight once, but I don't see her very often. So I honestly don't even know what she does or if she's worth building. We'll find out. But the skill books situation is getting real. So now's a good time for us to start focusing on some actual progression while we move forward, which is basically what we're going to be doing with these videos. Because I really want to see where we can kind of get some extra stuff in. So Hydra would be good to beat normal if we could. You know, So having Akoth might push us into that realm. Uh, I feel like having... Even if I don't use Akoth on the same team as Drexstar, if Drex if Drex is just as good as Akoth with the burns, we may be able to just have two teams that do somewhere around four million damage, which gets us to the final box, which is nice. What is going on here? A lot of incoming damage that no one likes. There we go. We got a revival going here. All right, take them down. There we go. Good. Give me some leeches. Got some smites going there. That's good. All right, that guy died from burning. I like it. I like death from burning. That's right. If everyone survives, I'm happy. Down to the last drop, sir. Oh, you're dead, boy. I love how this is the hardest thing ever, and our reward is this crappy HP charm. Thanks. Thanks, Raid. Next. All right. This is going to suck. No, maybe maybe not. I don't know. She could kill us in two seconds. I don't know. Trunda is more of a, a one-hit wonder. It's actually this fight that might... I think these guys do stuff I don't like. If I remember correctly. You forgot what they do. They could just be brutes. Did you notice that that person just went forward and then kind of slowly snuck his way back? I think there's a glitch. I may may have a problem. Like my other video played fine, but there might be like some kind of lag here on the game or something. It's kind of funny, though, watching it because the heroes turn around and walk backwards like they're like floating maybe it's this maybe it's the updates that they've been doing they, they're screwed up the game again for like a night maybe i was just off on the one day that recording is going to be a pain in the butt maybe that's it who knows that's right we're taking these guys down i actually like this guy like this flaming the flaming bull dude like i kind of want him as a hero even though i'll never have him I mean, never say never. You don't know. You don't know. Wow, this is taking some time. This is a little more defensive team. I just don't want Trunda. Yeah, he just he was just like, eat my sandwich, and then smacked him in the head with a with an axe. All right, can we get a revive here, please? Thank you. Always want to make sure your skills are reset for the next round. Like I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm curious how far we can get here. We only have one day, so we might as well use our keys, right? You probably should have done this four months ago. Not four months ago, one month ago when it started. But like, hey, look, why don't we do the, the hard mode? See how it goes. Honestly, it was that first fight that was pissing me off. I really hated it. And I have a feeling this fight's gonna suck with these trundas, so of course there was no and there's counterattacks. Even better. Counterattacks are my favorite because they make the fight long for zero reason. It's like, thanks for that 1,200 damage waste of my time. Boom. See, Trunda's a sucker. She's really strong. I feel like I remember this. This might be the last fight we do because I have a feeling this is going to annoy me. <laughs> I, if you haven't noticed, I stay away from any content that annoys me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start working for Polarium, I think. I'm going to be like, all right, let's go through every dungeon 
and why you did what you did. I'm like, all right, so this dungeon, why do we have a bunch of counterattacks in that one fight? Why is that necessary? You would think one or two counterattacks would be more than enough to get the point across that, you, that you're going to get counterattacked. You know, it's funny because counterattack is actually my least favorite buff for an enemy team. It's literally my least favorite. Not because it's uh, it's not just because it's annoying and because it's just ridiculous that every single person on the team gets to attack you for the entire round. But the main thing is just because you have to sit there and watch five animations if you hit everybody at once. That's why it's annoying. You're constantly just watching some guy walk over to you and tap you in the face. There's the bombs that we didn't want. All right. So now here, we are going to turn this off because I'm tired of those of Trunda. I should have used the uh, the HP heal. That would have been smart because now she wouldn't be dead. All right, so let's revive. Let's do that since we have time. All right, and then we're going to kill this guy. So Trunda's dead. Now we're going to try to save some of our skills. All right, now we're going to do this because we want to get a little bit of HP back. Uh, kill this guy, please. Please kill him. Thank you. Now we take this guy out. Nice, and we got some smite on him. Give me the smite, baby. Give me the smite and some burns. This guy's got a lot of things going on him. Maybe we can cycle through some skills. It doesn't matter if you decrease his turn meter. He's going to get to get an attack anyway forever. All right. Let's see what we got here. Um, all right. We don't want to waste, so we're going to try to remove her. There we go. Decrease turn meter. Let's see if we can stun everyone. Uh, who do we want to kill? Well, she's red, so I think we should just go for him. All right. And now we are going to... What is this? Decrease speed. No, we're going to do a... Prov no, we don't want to do a... Prov yeah, we'll do a provoke. I want to see if I can provoke all of them at once. Which we actually did. So that is good. So now we're going to try to kill Trunda like this. Now that everybody's provoked. And then we'll go back around and use the other provoke with... Um, what's his face? So now... Almost all of these guys are basically defensive. So let's do attack up. All right. So we want to keep her from attacking so we keep hitting her now we can hopefully get an aoe leech there we go we'll do some speed down now we'll provoke again see this is how i would probably do this if it was for see we're no we're just going to attack um this is what i would do if i was like actually playing through to like win like being if i was being serious about it oh, of course there's that i didn't realize it all right so now we want to kill someone now, we'll probably kill him with the AoE, so we're going to take this guy down and then do this. There we go. And then, there we go. Oh, that's great. Love it. Now, we want to try to keep her turn meter down because she's a jerk. Now, we can hopefully stun everybody, which is good. And then we keep decreasing her turn meter if possible. We're going to try to remove this block damage thing. See how much easier this is when you're, like, doing it manually? Auto just always does the worst possible outcomes. Always. It's almost like they just want you to lose. There we go. Doom. All right. Keep. We don't want her to get a turn ever. Ever. Everyone's stunned. Keep them stunned. Get some more attack up. Speed up turn meter boost. Let's get some provokes on these guys. So that she can keep taking the damage. Let's kick the crap out of her. We actually want her to get a turn now, so we're going to kill him. Look at that. A triple Reaper. I love it. Triple Reaper. All right, what floor was that? Four? I think we need to do one more if we are going to... All right, so there's a lot of freeze in here. Ah, screw it. Let's just do it. I was going to switch out and put in... What's her fuck? Right, let's just auto and see. I don't, I'm only I auto until it becomes apparent that there's going to be problems. 
But if they can handle it, then there's no big deal. Yeah, see, there's freezes in here. So this might be a good time to remove Yannicka, possibly, and bring in Dark Elhane. Because she would basically have, like, right there would have been another attack. They'd be dead. All right, hold on. We're gonna switch. We're gonna switch Yannicka out. I think at a team. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the worst thing I could possibly do. Let's try this. I'm gonna try it without Arbiter. I know it's a bad idea because if Sill dies, we're done. But. We'll see how it goes. Save freeze. And now she gets the extra attack, which kills the, that guy. So anytime they freeze now, she's going to get a turn and wipe their ass. And I think Yannicka's better because she has the leech. So I feel like that might be more helpful to us because it'll heal us more than... What, what's her face's stupid uh, attack up thing? And everybody except for my two damage dealers are defensive anyway, so. And it looks like that ice chick is in every fight now, so. That means we're going to get some freezes. Who was that? Tomb Lord? Whatever. It looks like Acolyte, but I think Tomb, Tomb King? Tomb Lord, maybe? I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Well, the good news is, is in a day, we get to restart Doom Tower. I don't think we're going to get very far in here right now, but you never know. It's interesting, at least. It's interesting to see how hard this area is versus, like, normal mode. So, if you guys are, if there's anyone who's playing, thinking, oh, you know, I'm, I can probably get into Doom Tower hard because I have the best heroes, just know that that may not be the case. All right, we got to revive. Wow, that's a lot of protection. See, this is where Arbiter would have been nice, probably. Too bad she's not freezing anybody. It would be nice. Okay, that's kind of good. HP burns are always nice. It's a nice... A lot of poisons and debuffs and buffs and all kinds of fun stuff going on in this fight. All right, good. He's dead. There we go. Freeze. Just what the doctor ordered. I'm going to kill Yannicka again. Oh, counterattack. That's good. That guy's a jerk. He does a lot of poisons. All right, she's dead, so that's good. Decreasing turn meter is always nice. And, of course, he's going to kill her. All right, we got the revive off before the next round, which is very good. But that guy's a jerk, by the way. I forgot where you get him. Is he? A, I think he's Doom Tower, right? That puddle of mess. All right, so now this guy's got... Oh, good, he's stunned. This has a revive. Yeah, that, that poison guy is, like, one of the best... I think heroes you can get as a free to play. I believe he's a Doom Tower hero. Don't 100% quote me on that. All right, we want to kill that guy. Good, please. Thank you. Good. Because he's the one that's going to do annoying stuff. This would be the first time, if we beat this, this is the first time that I've ever gotten to, I think, a secret room within Doom Tower Hard. And it's probably going to be like all Void heroes. The one thing I can't do are like orcs. Like the last time. So you might want to kill that other guy. There we go. He's dead. All right. We got through it. So this is rough. This is definitely rough. All right. So there's energy here, which is nice. Let's see what this one is. What is it? Just Epic Champions? Okay. So that's not, that's not terrible. Um... All right, so we want 
speed. We need some attack, healing, crit, and revive. Yeah, I think that's. I think this is a good one because that has this has more. Um, this team has more. What's that called? Oh, great, Skull Crown. This team has more um, crowd control than the other two because we have stuns and a whole bunch of other stuff, which is kind of nice. And some turn meter reduction. Always good to have a little bit of turn. See, this is a good place where I would have maybe Arrhenius would be good for here too, but she's not built. So unfortunately, we're not going to be using her. And we have revives, which is good also. And they're going to focus on Skull Crown, which is the worst thing you can do because she's going to be unkillable. Oh, good. And they have revives. Even better. Ooh. All right, good. She's de oh, she's not dead. I thought she was dead there. It was a counterattack, so it didn't work. There we go. We got some, some healing. Luckily, this is where Grush is going to really start to shine with the some stuff. All right. All right, so now Caden, I think that's his name, Caden. He's got some resurrection powers here, so that could be a problem. It's funny because the background seems more evil. It seems more evil in hard mode. I feel it's more evil. I'm, I'm just as curious as you guys are to see if we beat this. But this is why I keep saying, like, sometimes just building heroes, just building more heroes is the option. Like, if I didn't build these heroes and I was spending my time leveling up, you know, trying to find gear, you know, I might not be able to get to this point because I wouldn't have as many heroes as I have to get through these freaking secret rooms. Like, these secret rooms are, are kind of a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. I mean, look at that. One hit changes the whole thing. Now, she's, he's going to resurrect at least, so that's good. Hopefully we can get some leeches going here. Some speed up. Some HP restoring would be nice here. Okay. All right, good. We got some guys dead. Now kill Caden. That would be good. Hold on. We're on autoing. All right, good. She did it. She did it anyway. And we've got some healing. So now we have some time. Basically, you're going to have the point where there's like the two heroes left that are really defensive here. And that's your time to kind of regen and heal your, your heal your team back up before the next fight. So, like, where I'm... See, I should have just paused it there. That was a bad idea. So now we're just going to A1 our way to victory here because I don't I want to make sure we have all of our skills ready to rumble as soon as we get into the, the next fight. And that leech is nice because it'll help us with healing back up. Everyone's cycling their skills. It's crazy how important this this little one little thing is in these fights. Cycling through is very important because now you have all of your skills ready to rumble as soon as you get into that next fight, and it makes it a lot easier to be able to win. Like that stun, you got all of it. The freezes, everything. Reduce turn meter. All right, good. Two freezes. I'll take that because this is going to hurt. Yeah, I about to say that's going to hurt a lot. And now we're getting a bunch of heals. For their team, which sucks, getting that AoE in would be very nice. I think one more DPS in here would have been a better option. <laughs> Just getting that extra damage would be good. So now we've got f more freezes, more shields. Very good. Awesome. Take that chick down. Thank God. So now we just got cage boys left. So it looks like we're going to get a win here. Unless something crazy happens that I don't know that these guys do. There we go. More freezes. Even better. These guys are hulking tanks. Let me tell you. It's crazy that Broadmaw is actually choosing to hit the other target to freeze him. I like that. I'm glad his AI is very good. I thought it would be bad.
All right. Looks like we got our first. This is it. This is history. Our first Doom Tower hard secret room. I hope you guys are excited. We've never done this before. What do we get? Oh. Thea's. Okay, so here you go. Here's the, here's the, that, that guy that I said was good. He's right here, the the uh, monster hulking, the hulking monster guy. So now we've got three of Thea. I didn't even know Thea was the first one. I have no, I had no idea. I didn't remember who the first uh, hard mode hero was. So this is Thea. Kind of badass, actually. Uh, what does she do? All right, so attacks two and two times at random. Has a seventy five percent chance of placing a hex debuff. So that's good. Each critical hit decreases the cooldown of not of this world skill. And it can't be resisted if you ascend, so that's good. Uh, attacks all enemies decrease damage increases by 50% for each hex, so that's nice. Stacks up to 300%. Uh, perfect Veil, so that's good. And then has a chance of placing True Fear, so that's good. I don't have a True Fear. I don't have any Fear Heroes. And she has Attack in all battles. So basically she is a kind of scaled up version of, what's her face, of uh, Yannicka. Obviously, she has a couple of things that she does better or different, but she's pretty cool. I would, I'm actually kind of cool, kind of interested in this now. This is going to make me want to uh, play Doom Tower Hard a little bit more just to get Thea. So, yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Thea is the first Knight's Revenant, which will also help me in Faction Wars. But, hey, I'm hoping I would beat it before I get her because this is obviously we're talking like three or four months minimum to get this hero because we've never. And that's if we beat every rotation on hard <laughs> aka we've got a while we may only get three of her uh fragments for like the next couple of months we i have no idea we'll find out i'll try to push through a little bit more and see how far we can get but yeah so there we go we got our first we got our first one i'll probably go in and maybe put it on auto to do some more doom tower hard we'll see if it'll if they can push through i'll just throw in a couple heroes and see where it is so as far as Fire Knight goes, just so you guys can see what, what I did on the original stream before we went into Doom Tower mode, um, Fire Knight's Castle, we did beat it. took us 18 minutes. I was doing it as a tutorial. I did stop the fight a few times. Uh, it was not pretty. This is the team that we used. It was able to get us through it. I figured out that the accuracy on our team needs to get fixed. Um, they weren't able to really do it on auto. Because they were just doing the wrong skills at the wrong time. And the shield is at 12 now. Um, I don't know if that's at 21 plus or if that's 10. I mean, uh, 20 plus. I don't remember when the 12 started. But either way, they weren't getting the shield down in time to really do any of their skills. And then they were using their turn meter skills when the shield was down. I mean, it was up. So basically, it was just a big freaking mess and a waste of time. But we were able to beat it with this team on 21 so we never have to do it again so we will push forward into 22 uh, i think it's going to be just as hard probably but we need to up our accuracy so we're hitting our decreased turn meters because if we don't we're never going to get by it so that's what we did in in stage 21 so if you're looking for a stage 21 and beyond team just know that this is the team that we used and it got us through it it sucked it took forever but it'll you can beat it and it'll get you through. So that's if you just want to get the wins for 25, up, you know, starting to work your way towards 25. But you're going to need accuracy because my team sucks on accuracy. Like we're talking like, where is it? God damn you, sales. All right. So like, here we go. Sill. So basically Sill is my best accuracy. She's got two, 271. And that's because she also has the little bird here mastery for her her final mastery which gives her 50 percent ac i mean 50 accuracy so really she's 220 and we used a bunch of heroes like my armor girl is going to need to get rebuilt that's one of the things we discussed before we're gonna have to rebuild him into some new gear try to get his defense up because his stats suck his defense is 2800 even though i still use him and he's great it's crazy how awesome this hero is with the worst freaking defense that i have on any hero so we're gonna get a new regen set we're gonna farm fire knight which is ironical that we have to beat Fire Knight. And I'm saying ironical, ironically. It's not really ironical. That's not the word. It's just really funny to say ironical. Sidetracks aside. 288 sucks. That's the moral of the story. 
2,800 defense on Armager is probably the saddest thing I've ever done. So we got to get him rebuilt. We're going to farm to get some regen sets. And I, I actually was saying that I have a piece of gear that I threw on. What's her name here? Her. No, I didn't. I threw it on Arrhenius. Here we go. So I did throw this piece on. And funny enough, it actually has defense as an, as a side piece. <laughs> as a side piece. I, I got to stop the references. Uh, this has defense 60, so we could put this on Armager if we wanted to and take it off of Arrhenius. Because I'm not sold on this 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 set for Arrhenius. I don't know if it's going to be good. I don't know if it matters, but I'm not sold on it. So I could put this on to Armager and get him a little more defense and get him built a little, a little higher up. I got to stop yawning. And of course, I pulled Miss Scored. Yeah, I pulled her again, and nobody got to see it because it was on stream that got failed. All right, so there you go. That's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, because what's her face? Um, Solbon wasn't able to do what we needed her to do. We need more hits on the A1 to really be able to get it. Uh, so that's why we brought Visix in because she has a, a two-hit A1. See? And it reduces turn, uh, turn meter. So basically, she was my replacement for the turn meter reduction. And she's got the a couple of other skills that are really helpful to get us through the fights and the waves, which actually worked out really well. Um, but once again, their accuracies are trash. Like hers is 185. We need to be somewhere between 2 and 250. Uh, hers is really bad. Not really bad. It's 174. She was the least bad. I think Crimson Slayer was the worst offender. Where the hell is she? Here she is. Um, she was the worst worst of, wow my, my uh mouse got stuck uh she's got 132 accuracy terrible accuracy so we were saying we might want to switch this out for an accuracy banner in here because i do have one i'd have to build it where is it here you go accuracy and it's got speed so that could be an option to make her useful again in there but it's it's just whether or not i really care at this point i might consider someone else we'll see how it goes all right so there you go that's where we're at on progression we beat fire knight 21 we now have gotten our first fragments for doom tower hard so that's a start it's a start that's all we need i mean this is how i started on doom tower normal even if i only get to that one room and i don't beat anything else for the rest of the the cycle or the rest of the next cycle I, at least i know i can you know push my way through and get one reward i mean that's really it because eventually it just becomes something in the background i mean if you're playing this game for two years and you're not paying attention to that. And, you know, slowly but surely, you'll just end up having a hero. You're like, oh, wait, look at that. In one more day, I get, you know, this Tomb Lord. How cool is that? You won't even be thinking about it. That's 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 when. But when you're beginning and you're like, oh, I got to wait two years to get this hero. It's like, then you're like, frick. You're like, I don't want to wait two years to get that hero. And it's very daunting. But I don't get daunted because I'm not even really using a lot of other heroes. All right. So there you go. That's today. That's the uh, little... Uh, progress video this is where we're at if you have any questions things you want to talk about if you want to tell me the heroes you use to get through doom tower hard or to start doing doom tower hard or if doom tower normal is still kicking your ass and making you feel like a bad person and sad inside you know feel free to comment that as well i'm always glad to hear other people suffering that way i feel like it's not just me and uh yeah there you go um this has been a good day for me i'm very happy with everything and i'm i'm hoping everyone enjoys my live arena tips and tricks video I just put out yesterday. If you're watching this today, it's a very good video. I think it shows a lot of really good tricks. I think you guys will enjoy it. All right. So this is Mobile Gamer Nerd and you guys take care.